Hey everybody, Steven here with Oddball Publishing. Um, Want to shoot a video today and talk about kind of how we've been planning some of the things, uh, just because I'm usually leading on that end. And uh, we're now going on, it's just over a year, because we released the Undyed Nightmare about a year ago. We just did the release of um, the remake of the first book, Color Me Zombied, and working on getting that new uh, witch book out in the next month or two, still fine tuning all of that stuff. In the process of all of this, we're going to local bookstores and getting our books in there. We've hit up larger chains and uh, it, it's just been a struggle. I mean, they just don't typically um, work with local authors as um, well. Barnes and Noble gave us the runaround a ton. Um, and we're in what's called the Ingram system, which is um, essentially the distribution channel that they use to buy their books. So they usually throw you that line, like, well, you have to be in the system. And then if I say, well, I'm already in the system, you can order these books now. Um, they just don't want to do it. <laughs> so you can only kind of push on that so hard. And you talk to multiple people in different stores and all of that, and it becomes an issue um, where they're just giving you the runaround, kind of a waste of your time. So. Uh, the local bookstores here, though, are phenomenal at giving support. And we're in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I am. Me and the artist Zach Ra are here. Um, my writing partner's in Denver. Uh, and uh, with that, I uh, dropped some more books off at a bookstore here called The Frugal Bookworm. And um, the owner was talking about some of the conventions coming up and um, that we should do them. And it's actually been something that we've been talking about a lot and uh, my artist initially brought it up to go to these conventions because he does with his art and we've kind of held back on that i have a multi-year plan i mean i've, I've our three to five year marks that we want to hit and in and the, in the in-betweens um the yearly goals i have all that stuff down um, a lot of times i'll jot it down i have a whiteboard upstairs that i put all this information on um i catalog it in my head uh, there's adjustments that happen all the time those little things with that but one of the reasons why we actually haven't gone yet, because that's one of the questions like, man, you guys should go. Why aren't you going? Why aren't you going to the conventions? Um, <clears throat> and with that is, honestly, it's, it's because we don't have enough uh, products to go there with. And I've said this multiple times um, to Zach and to Isaac. It, it really is hard to go to a convention, put a booth up, and you have one book. Just not quite enough. And I know people do it. Um, we've decided just just uh, go a different route with this. We're kind of playing it a little bit different, playing a little bit more of a long game. Next year, we'll be pushing towards uh, into our second year of doing all of this stuff as a group, as a team. Um, I've been doing a little bit longer because I, I did the first book all by myself, but then kind of just shelved it. But looking at that two mark year uh, as a team, we'll have um, three, my hope is for four, or bordering on five books out at that point. I can set up a booth and have that stuff there. We'll have three with the zombie books. We'll have this new book series with the, the all-female main characters, the witch book series. <clears throat> um, working on new um, IPs that are going to be coming out as well. Like, what are the new books that we want to do? And we have that stuff cataloged as well. I have all these ideas um, written down. We see which sticks, what doesn't. We talk about this as a team <clears throat> where we want to spend our attention. But looking with that, that I can represent and I can say that, hey, we're bringing value with this stuff. Harder if, if we go there and somebody comes up and they're like, well, what's your book? And it's like, well, it's a zombie book. And they're like, well, I don't like zombies. And I was like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, that's all we have, right? Going from that to, hey, we got the zombies and the witch books. Hey, we have the zombie, the witch book, and this new one um, that we have coming out, right? And we're looking at all those things that we want to do with that right now. <clears throat> Easier, in my opinion, to um, not only just sell, but connect with people, really. Ultimately, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to connect with people. Do your kids like these things, right? <clears throat> Since these are children's books. So looking at that, really trying to bring value. In the meantime, one of the things that um, we're, I'm going to be pushing into now, six months to nine months leading into this, where we do want to get those booths, is going to these conventions now and then just going as um, a customer, observing how everything is getting done. Um, really trying to study and just keep my mouth shut is the big thing. 
asking asking questions so that they I can lead into that conversation and learn a lot about it. <clears throat> but in terms of me like commenting on stuff and all of that, I, I mean really just keeping my mouth shut, taking it all in, talking with our artist as well who's done a ton. Where can we get a better audience or are there more potential customers, right? Do we go to this convention or that one? Trial and error is part of it. I mean, that can change yearly. <clears throat> Looking at those things right now is what we'll be shifting into. My big point with all of this is we have a plan. That plan changes and fluctuates, but we're always heading in the same um, direction. <clears throat> we know where we wanna go. Um, we make adjustments accordingly as things change. But like I said, in general, we're always heading towards that same goal. I know what we're trying to do with this. And that's really what I wanna encourage anybody. If you're watching this video and you're doing books or whatever it may be, whatever your thing may be, figure out what that is. <clears throat> Write out that plan, have that idea, set those goals that you wanna hit. Um, right now, I don't really hyper-focus on numbers. Well, we need to sell this many, I think, and I write those things down, but it's not my main focus. I know the numbers we need to hit. My bigger thing that I wanna look at is how can we bring value right now? How can this story be compelling enough that somebody reads it and they thoroughly enjoy the story? Because that's why they're gonna buy the book. Your story's um, not any good, right? They're not gonna be engaged with that. They're not, they might read a couple pages and be like, man, I just can't. To not only do that, but to get them excited if we have multiple books, right? They read the first one, man, I really wanna read the second one. Man, I really wanna read the third one. They're working on the fourth. I want to keep tabs on that, right? So those are the things that we are focusing on right now, <clears throat> trying to figure out our place in all of that, where we can bring value to that as well. Working on other things um, within that, that uh, are things that we wanna do, but just they take time to build into. So we play the long game, try not to rush it. Getting our books into schools, donating our books where, um, they go to children that just can't afford to buy the books, um, foster care homes, stuff like that. Making sure it's a story that's entertaining for them, but also br brings them value as an individual, um, especially if they're in a situation that's not the best. So all those things we consider when we, when we look at this stuff. It's always running in my mind and <clears throat> throughout the day. And uh, it, it's something I think that if you are on the other end and you are creating books or whatever it may be that you start to think about. So, and like I said, that's really the main purpose of the video is, is this is just us sharing our process and it may work for some people, it may not work for some people, but keeping those things in mind as you're moving forward with whatever you're doing, I think is very, very important. The overall theme too is like, how can I bring value? How can I bring value to anybody that's out there? Whether that's through sharing our story and the things that we're struggling with and that we're doing really well and where we're having success and all those other things. Um, but also ultimately with the product, whatever it may be. And for us, it's kids books. And uh, it's something that we just thoroughly enjoy doing. It's so fun to do this, especially since we have our, our own kids as well, showcasing those things. And my son's like, when's the, when's the witch book gonna be done? <laughs> like, I, I really wanna read it. Cause we kind of keep it hidden. We show them a little bit here and there. Um, just like we do with everybody else on social media, but we want to keep some of it a little bit closer to the chest. That way, it's not like with the movie trailers where you're like, dude, I've, I pretty much know the story. <laughs> like, I'm not even going to bother going to see the movie now, right? You already know the story. You're not going to bother to buy the book. So that's where we're at. We'll be showcasing some of that stuff more and more as we go through it, too. And uh, one of the bigger struggles is I'm a personal trainer. I mean, all of us have our own other jobs. Um, our artist is a full-time artist, so that's what he does for a living. Um, but I'm a personal trainer. Um, that's how I make my current income. I create content for that as well. I do all the social media stuff for that. I have the YouTube channel. I do all those other things with that, and that's my main source of income. So splitting my time with that, dictating how much time do I have for this, being realistic, but when it's time to do what it is with the book, I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna try and squeeze every ounce that I can out of that time that I have. If I can only spend 30 minutes, an hour, two hours a day on this stuff, I gotta squeeze as much out of that to try and extrapolate that so that it really is more like 
four hours, six hours for somebody that's not going to work as hard. So that is something else that I think about constantly um, that we try to work on as well. Sometimes I hit those lulls where it's like, man, I got to step back for a second because um, I don't want to be, be at uh, odds with what we're doing. I love that we get to do this stuff. I never want to feel like it's a burden or that um, I feel stressed that we're doing it to the point where I'm almost resentful <laughs> that we're doing this because then that just really defeats the purpose. This is something fun for us to do. So that's just my thoughts with all of this stuff, showcasing kind of our plan. If you guys want to follow along with all of this too, hit the subscribe button. It would mean the world to us. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook. I'll put the links in the description for that so you can do that as well. If you have questions, comments, one guy hit us up on a, uh, I have a gaming YouTube channel as well, but I've put some videos out with um, the uh, create space process, which is who we publish with. And I'll do some more on this channel as well, but he was struggling. Me and him went back and forth for a little over a month where I was actually looking at what, because he's like, they're not communicating with me and I don't quite know what, what's going on. But because I went through that process for three months where well, we had our issues, um, I helped him as much as I could and showcased him where he was off, what was he was where he was running into trouble um, as well. And that came from him just making a, com a comment on the video. And uh, if I can help, I will for sure, whether that's making videos on here or shooting you an email or making a call, whatever it is. Um, like I said, let me know in the comment section. Like I said, we work with Create Space right now. Um, and they're actually shifting their model. So all of their stuff's going from createspace.com over, or over to uh, Kindle Publishing Direct. They're both Amazon-owned businesses and services. Just Amazon is bringing it underneath kind of their roof at this point and migrating all of that so that it's just underneath Kindle Publishing. And I'm assuming that's just because it makes it so much easier instead of having the two businesses running kind of parallel to each other. It's all just one thing. But... That is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Guys and girls, so much for watching. Um, check back soon for more videos. And like I said, follow us on uh, Instagram if you don't mind or Facebook and you can keep up with a lot of that. And a lot of the stuff that I put on there is the artwork, the amazing artwork that our artist Zach Raw does here. Um, you should hit him up also if you have any projects. Phenomenal artist. Um, he's done such amazing work for us and we're so thankful to have him. But thanks for watching, guys.